Hey, hey, how's it going? Anyone out there? Check one, two. We're ready to get our build on. Just haunt me. I'm locked inside. These feelings can't be free. We were happy. Maybe that was just me. All I can remember is how you promised me. You said that you'd be here, but why I'm here alone. All right, we're gonna. I think completely restart this library. I was looking at some library designs yesterday and I think I want to I think I'm going to convert this entire village to be like a super modern clean village. So, what that means is we need to build a concrete machine because we had to destroy the concrete oops, we had to destroy the concrete machine we built yesterday. That little Twitch streamer, hey, what's going on? Eddie, you're back, nice. Wasn't sure if anyone was here. Good to see everyone. You up for some uh, concrete machine building? got this I uh, found a YouTube video that showed me how to do this one is this the one I watched before in PE nice all right well do your sit-ups and whatever what do you have to do if you're doing remote class what do you how do you do PE remote oh the game's not trying Thanks for the heads up. I thought I... Nice. Aloha, Ride Epic. How was your day? Game showing now, right? Good. Uh, uh, 
press the wrong key to get started. Nice, okay, so. Uh, what did I do with all that concrete machine stuff? It was down here. Build this concrete machine real fast again. That'll get our materials back in place. So we can get our library construction underway. Obsidian block. Let's dump all this dye right back in here. I really need the bed because we're gonna be down here. And I won't know if it's day or not anyway. Okay, I think, I think, think, think we're safe if we build in here. Now, before I built the concrete machine and it ended up being in the way of what I what I had planned, but I think if we build it in here, we'll be safe. But then again, who knows? We'll probably have to move it again in the future. So I will put it maybe, man, where should we put this? I think I'm gonna put it over here. Yeah, we'll put it over here in the corner. Awesome. Okay, so I've got a I've got a YouTube video I'm gonna follow. I'm gonna I, this is what I watched before, and I'll put a sign up after because I, I definitely when I when I borrow stuff from people, I definitely want to credit them. So I'll put a sign up afterwards um, in case anyone anyone cares. But uh, what is this? Who is this guy? Mad Dog One Forty Two is his name on YouTube, and he's got. It's pretty good AFK uh, concrete machine, so. But he spends a lot of time like explaining it before he starts building. I'm gonna find the place in the video where he starts actually starts building it. Oh, of course there's gonna be ads and stuff in it too. All right, all right, all right. Let's get Oh yeah, and it has all sorts of like doors. Okay, actually. Okay, cool. Cool, cool, cool. Kinda remember. Do I have all my yep, I do. Good. So okay, see you, Red. I, uh, I posted the VOD from yesterday's late stream. I didn't post the morning ones, but I posted the VOD from yesterday's late stream, the one where I almost died. And, uh, you know, of course, I, I play music in the background and stuff. And uh, a bunch of it got muted because it was copyright restricted. And I didn't... Yeah, anyway, so uh, today's music should be safe for us to, to play. And uh, we won't get, we sh our mods shouldn't get, or our VODs shouldn't get muted. So that'll be good. All right, all right, I want this. I used all sorts of blocks. Yeah, we used some quartz blocks. This, this, a door, observers, lots of droppers. Okay, there's my bow. I never would have found that bow again. So I'm glad we spotted it in here. We only need one redstone, so it's the funnels, and then we need some chests. Yeah, I'm gonna leave those chests and go get some more. Oh yeah, I forgot we put these pictures up. Those look good. Chest. 
chests. Can never have enough chests, right? Subway looks so good. Super happy with this. So we'll do the concrete machine and then I think we'll like build this room out to be not just a weird storage room. We'll actually make it look nice. Okay, so the output con the output we want to be how wide is this? It's only three wide. There's gonna be a lot of me like looking back and forth at this video. Place down a double chest and that's a double chest. And finally you want to turn this one around. Turn this one around. And turn the hopper around and have it facing one of your hoppers and insert that in there. Okay, we'll just follow this step by step again. in danger of running into this wall so let's actually move it over and quartz block it's my seven slot oh <laughs> that's brick so i had a bunch more of this brick nice ready to straight that one's gonna turn okay can't break this one yet because we have to place the hopper first that goes there then we break it There. Whoops. Whoa. Broke fast. Um, this one goes here, and then this one turns. And that's going to go into our chest. Yep. Okay. So it's not that. We're on the same page now. It's so confusing. Um, okay, this break. Wait. This. Yeah, this is about as fancy as I can get. Items is going to go into 
all your concrete power. But I use so much concrete, I have to have like a concrete machine, and this is the simplest one. First, before we do that, let's just dig down here twice. Dig down here twice? Yeah, Twitch was down this morning. I couldn't get on earlier. Since when? Yeah, when since when am I a builder, man? I don't I don't know. Except I'm I'm my whole thing is I'm bad at Minecraft, so. Yeah, that's that's what I do, but when I u when I'm going to have to use just like stacks and stacks of it like I, the whole library i'm essentially going to build out of white concrete and like the whole village i'm going to go build the villagers like m cool modern houses um it's all going to be concrete and glass so i need i need so much concrete it's impossible to do that that's not impossible that's how i that's how i build too but yeah it's nice to be able to just sit here and do like the, some afk stuff now, once we've got this here, that's pretty much all the hoppers for the time being. The final one that you want to do is this hopper here. This is the... Hopper that you're going to be actually placing the concrete... Yeah, all right. So that's... Oops, that's the wrong one. Got to do this right or it won't work. That goes... Yeah. There, boom. Droppers. Yeah, I don't know who comes up with this stuff or how they even figure it out, but it is really cool that someone is smart enough <laughs> to like come up with dropper ideas and stuff. I mean, it is, it's crazy. Hey, there's a... Why is there... Uh, actually, I want this out of here. Because I need that. There's those like little floaties in there. Nice, alright, so we've got the, the two droppers. Okay, so we need a third one. Oh my gosh. This is one of those shift, jump, place things. <laughs> nice. And we need this one facing this way. Because this is going to shoot out that right there. This right here will actually shoot out uh, pickaxes, which is kind of crazy. This is going to be the Yeah. Yeah, so it's it's pretty cool how this works because there's like a chain of pickaxes that keeps shooting. So this is an item elevator, right? It'll shoot items up at me. I'm going to stand right here and place concrete powder right here. But eventually the concrete powder is going to or the pickaxe I'm using will break. So this thing keeps shooting pickaxes at me. So I I never run out of pickaxes. It's pretty cool. Yeah, it's pretty nice. Yeah, when I mine, I, when I mine here, I'll use a stone pickaxe. One, they're super cheap to make, and then this you have to essentially like fill these up, 
and it breaks the concrete super fast. And there's also an obsidian block right here. So if I use my diamond, there's a chance that I'll break that obsidian block. But the stone pickaxe will never break that obsidian block. But it chews through the concrete. So yeah, it's it's a pretty ingenious design. That is gonna shoot the concrete powder at me so that I never run it. So I hold, when I'm here, I'm actually gonna, this will actually be gone. Um, I'm going to, uh, this dropper will actually shoot pickaxes at me. This dropper will actually shoot concrete powder at me. I'll have concrete powder in my left hand, my pickaxe in my right hand, so it'll place, chop, place, chop, place, chop, and it's constantly shooting new material at me. So I. I never run out. You can just, as long as you've filled up the chests, you can just sit and hold or tape down. Sometimes I'll like tape down my mouse and you can just go AFK and come back and just have like stacks and stacks and stacks of, uh, of whatever you need. Droppers and the hoppers done. Brilliant. Step two, redstone and Water. Redstone in water. I've actually got the mechanics of how both the items for the concrete powder and the pickaxes are going to be distributed to you. And you've also got the collection mechanism for the concrete itself. Now, next thing you need to do is you need to go and get yourself a piece of obsidian. Piece of obsidian? Why would you waste that? Oh, <laughs> he had two pieces of So this guy that I'm watching is building it in creative. Which is nice because you know you have unlimited materials, but in here we don't. So I'm not going to waste my obsidian because it's a pain in the butt to mine. Boom! What is that? <laughs> I'm gonna be standing here. I love a good Australian accent. Mate. What you doing, mate? <laughs> Next step. Observer. Gonna get my observer. I'm gonna get banned on Twitch for like impersonating uh, Australian accents. Is that that's not racist, right? I, it's it's me appreciating Australian culture. I wish I was in Australia. Another temporary block here? Oh my gosh, I just gotta leave this temporary block here because it keeps like breaking it. Observer. I'm gonna put our observer here. directly below this which was here put a block then there and then dig down by two here and put two more blocks so this is for the redstone path oh and there is some furry redstone Oh, and I need to put these blocks here. Also want to put a block inside this copper here. Let's see, what was that? So that's above the obsidian and right here. Two blocks like that. Two blocks like that, like this. There we go. Directly alongside. And then finally, you're going to want to get the slabs that I mentioned earlier, and you're going to want to line these up at that height. So slabs? Do I have slabs? I must, because 
I wonder if I used them. I could use these slabs, I guess. Two slabs on my eight key, which go right here. Oh, that's gonna bug me that it's not all the same material. Whatever. It basically should be in line with the top of this block that you've placed here. Then you get your redstone, and you basically snake the redstone around like that. Oh, I wasn't and paying then attention also, there. Oof. But like, Rewind. It basically should be in line with the top of this block that you've placed here. Then you get your redstone, and you basically snake the redstone around. Okay. All right. This guy's moving pretty quick, and I'm a, an old dad who who has a hard time. <laughs> okay, redstone. Snake the redstone down here. Like that. Like that. So over the top, and then we're gonna do a redstone here. And then also like. So like. That. Like that. So. You do not want to put redstone there. Okay. You do not want to put redstone there okay. or there. The reason is, is that's okay. where three of your repeaters are going to go. Three repeaters are going to go. All right. <laughs> All right. Repeater. Repeater is going to go here. I think this has to be on four ticks. So place a repeater down, increase the delay, max. Max delay, the repeater. And delay all of these. Dude, this music slaps too, whoops. Oh no, we broke it. Max delay. Go. Now, there you go. Now, where's maximum delay? When you are placing the concrete, yeah, yeah. And when the concrete turns to concrete, uh, sorry, concrete powder turns to concrete, yeah. that basically triggers this triggers observer the observer. Device. Yeah. If you have a delay here, maximum yeah. delay, maximum it'll delay, got it. Signals, but it's already being delayed, so only one signal will actually go through to the hopper. To the hopper elevator, got it, and mate. So the dropper elevator for the pickaxes and the dropper for the concrete powder. Concrete powder, so yeah. Got it, mate. Each cycle of placing and converting and breaking one of the blocks. So that's a critical thing that you critical. want to make sure yeah. that these are delays. Now, if you have any issues, uh, we're listening to an ad on Spotify. Nice. Are potentially the reason for that. You might want to adjust it back to three, or even potentially extend these lines out a bit and add a bit. another um, another repeater if you need to add yourself more delay. I haven't had any issues so far, but just something to be aware of. I was worried we were going to have to listen to Spotify ads. Lame! Now, Whatever. Better than getting muted, is, right? Of this step is the water. Now, this is where we've One piece of water? ...advantage of the uh, trapdoors here. And we have uh, streamlined the size of this yeah, yeah. build in this, this upgrade compared to the original design, which relied upon the glass. So first thing you need to do is just chuck in a few extra blocks in a few spots. Um, oh, I wasn't paying attention. Where did you put these blocks, my guy? Come on now. This, this upgrade compared to the original design, which relied upon the glass. So first thing you need to do is just chuck in a few extra blocks in a few spots. Oh my gosh, um, I missed it again. Looked away for like two seconds. Um, I think. Learn more at discover.com/slash/match. Discover something brighter. I want to say it's that. Right there. And then up the top there. Wait, huh? Why did you do that? Very good. And then finally, you want to put one up the top here. Right, so then. Where'd you put that one? Just some structural. Oh my gosh, I'm so confused. So first thing you need to do is just chuck in a few extra blocks in a few spots. Um, yeah. Right there, and then up the top there. Very good. And then finally, you want to put one up the top here. Oh, right by where you stand. Right. Okay. Good. Got it. There. Right. 
So they're just some structural blocks against which you can start to place some trapdoors. So place trapdoor there. Is that on? Uh, that's on that back block, right? Yeah. Right, so they're just some structural yeah, yeah, yeah. blocks against which you can start to place some trapdoors. So, place... Tra okay, yeah, trapdoors. Here we go. Alright. These trapdoors are tricky. Trapdoor <laughs> there. This is kind of a weird trick I never, I never knew. Like, placing this trapdoor here, and then just clicking again places one right above which can close that gap. Nice. I mean, technically we could build, we could put a block in here and just build it on that, but I thought that was kind of cool. Cool thing. Trapdoor there. Some of the Trapdoor mechanics, there. some of the mechanics are so weird of how like stuff works, but at the same time, like pretty genius. Like, boom, what? <laughs> there. And that one we want both. There, uh, you want to go here, and you're gonna want three. Three. And that was. Where did you go, my guy? Oh, he's here. He did three. Because you need that one. Track doors break the. Yeah. We're gonna break these two because we're gonna put a door there just so we're safe while we AFK. All right, and now he's gonna go up top. And I can't fly because I'm in. I'm in survival. Yeah. Oh, okay. Uh -huh. This one was tricky too. We're gonna go boom, boom. I think he breaks that far one. Now one. Yeah. Doing this, you want to be on top of the block. So if you look in here, this has a full block in front. Yeah, yeah. You do it, I did it right. Like below it. So if you do it like there, there is a chance or a higher chance that this will actually spit the concrete powder up above. The uh, the trapdoors here. That's so if you pretty make much sure it. A full block sitting underneath here, and the way to test that is you should be able to place a full block in there. Then you're all good. And that's basically that done. That seals off all of that space. Yep. Almost. Let's get down here and put one up there. Very nice. Oh shoot! Oh shoot! Where was that? Oh here. Um, so then we can just open this up and we can get bucket of water. A bucket of water. Actually, that's British, not Australian. Alright. Water. Water down there. Okay, he puts it. <laughs> it worked. Then Good. will be flowing water directly beside where the concrete powder is going to be placed, and it's going to flow beside it rather than flood into the area. All flow around into the yes, area. Yes, it's working. So that is a very good change. The next thing you want to do is just get your door. And this is just to close off the build to make it full. Door. Door time. That build wasn't bad. Oh, <laughs> womp womp. There it is, concrete machine rebuilt. What do you think? I need to add a hopper. I think I've got to add a hopper. Uh, I've got to add a chest. Chest here for concrete powder. Chest here for uh, pickaxes. And then we are set. Wait, no. There's a. Uh, we have to build. We still have to build something here, which was the um, item. Sorter. There's more. Ha, there's more. Suavez, what's going on, man? We are building a... We're rebuilding our AFK concrete machine. 
So I'm watching a video here to remind me how to do it. I did build it once, so it's making a little bit more sense and going faster this time. I had to watch it like 10 times last time because I'm an idiot. Uh, but we are almost done. I'm gonna add just a couple more things. I did have some issues last time I remember with this, this part that's gonna be back here, which is the item sorter. But it's pretty genius what he does. It's pretty cool because we want stackable finished concrete to end up in this chest, but we want non-stackable pickaxes to go back into the system because they'll just feed through the system. But if they get stuck in here, they, uh, they don't get back in the system and they'll clog the chest. So he builds this, it's, a, it's essentially an item sorter that uh, stackable stuff flows here, non-stackable stuff flows through there. It's brilliant. I actually kind of want to use it for my trash can back in the base too. Um, when we had uh, the ability for zombies to break doors, one option is to actually place it this yeah, way. Yeah, yeah, nobody cares about so that. I don't have any zombies in here. Then as an open door, and zombies couldn't break it. So just another little thing that you could do just to improve just you could the do AFK ability. To, but this is fully to improve the AFK ability. Guys, should I just be Australian? Or anything like that, Would I get more views if I was Australian? I think people really like an accent. Yeah, um, I get it, mate. Just the build the rest of the the, the, the machine, that is, mate. That is the rest of the redstone. Redstone. Got it. Yeah. Is that your user? Okay, and now you're gonna play an ad. What's up, Long Long? Step three. Step three. Just in time to finish off the build, mate. No. Guys, maybe we should pick a different accent each day. And I could just be from a different part of the world each day, and we could we could stream like that, eh? I don't do a bad a bad Australian accent. I think I could pull it off, mate. No, maybe. It's a bit over the top, I think, but it kind of sounds like this guy. I think once I listen to a person for a little bit, I can pick up the accent pretty well and pretty well mimic it. Across the board, whatever whatever I want to say, I can then say it with an Australian accent. I don't know. Maybe it sounds like garbage. You guys tell me if you think it sounds bad, and I'll stop. But if you like it, we could maybe be Australian for 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 this for this short uh, build stream, yeah. A German accent. I'd have to listen to someone for a little while to do to do the German accent. It's so early. You guys want to get a cup of coffee or something? How's my German? Is it good? Yeah. Yeah, my German is, is good. No? I think I, Australian's pretty easy for me, mate. Kinda, kinda, kinda good or kinda bad? It's pretty bad. <laughs> like I said, I have to listen to someone for a little while. If I If there was a YouTuber with a... Eddie the Troller. Eddie the Troller in a in a Australian accent? <laughs> so this is the big change from the last design where previously Okay, here now we're going to do this item sorter. between the concrete powder and the pickaxes. This here basically says, okay, well let's chuck them all together. So this now feeds into the hopper chain rather than going into the dropper chain or the dropper elevator. Yeah, yeah. Um, let's chuck them all together and instead let's put a non-stackable item sorter just down. Whoa. What is he doing? Why is he going that far back? I don't remember him going this far back. Ooh, ooh. I have to chop through this wall. Here. And that will help to sort out whether it is a pickaxe, in which case it will activate. I think we actually have to go down one more. Open this hopper and it will go back into the item to the drop it elevator, or whether it. Yeah, it goes down one more.
Air to sight. Is a, a non-stack, uh, it is a stack of white and white concrete, yeah, and yeah. therefore flow into the chest. So, first thing we need to do is get ourselves some more of these blocks. Uh, we want to place a block there, and then two there. Oh my gosh. Select. Sometimes my mouse wheel is too sensitive. Okay. Uh, actually, I don't need to be in this hole, I don't think. He placed a block. I want to say a block. I wasn't paying attention. Alright. So yeah, yeah. First thing we need to do is get ourselves some more of these some blocks. blocks. Yeah. Uh, we want to place a block there. There and, then there and there. Okay. So yeah, here, here, and here. There. We want to place a block underneath that one. And then we want a block underneath this one. And then, a block and then one behind it. Oh, I hear a slime. Get it. Eddie the Eater is ready. Where'd you go? I hear it. Must be behind the wall. I don't see him. Yeah, he could be up here. I think he's actually back in here. At the bottom. So you want to create this trench at least two uh, deep, and then you want to go in here and place a block. Do have a comparator, nice. That way. Can that go on right? Then for your redstone, just break a couple of blocks. I think it is. Second, you want to put a comparator down, it's a little bit awkward, just aim for the corner. Yeah, there. okay, that was right. Then also while you're here, get one of your heaters, which I do not have in my inventory for some reason. Aha, while he's doing that, I can get my repeater ready. Uh, where is the repeater's gone? That's okay. Just grab this one down here. There we go. Thank you very much. I'm sure it's in my inventory somewhere, but I've lost it. Uh, repeater, you want that to be facing into this block. Um, Alright, from the repeater, we want it facing into that block. Okay, do it right. Yep. You want to get yourself uh, a couple of dots of redstone and one down the bottom here. Redstone, redstone on six. Oops, I can't get out. I can't get out! I think I need one down there, so, uh... And finally, you want to get a torch. So. A torch there, okay. I am gonna need to break this. Okay, so he did redstone here, 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 and then... Porch. Here? Is that right? Can I put a... Why can't I put a redstone there? Um, you want to get yourself uh, a couple of dots of redstone and one down the bottom here. Oh, because that's two down. That's two down. Seems weird. Finally, you want to get a torch. Oh, so, okay, now that looks right. What this is going to do as part of this process. Okay, and then he was just closing the rest of this back up. Only have one block of andesite. Uh, I gotta watch the time again today. I have another meeting that I have to go to. Can I? 
Can I, with redstone, can I block this off? Or will this cut the line? Yeah, that cuts the line. Weird, that was weird. It's like it burned it out. Dude, I'm digging this music. Yes. All right, so we'll just leave that open. That's fine. We can actually enclose it if we want. Yes, so, um, basically this redstone torch is activating the, the repeat down there, which is powering this block and blocking that bottom hopper there. So any items that right, I think, are I think that's it now. I should have two, uh, uh, yep, I have two of these. This I'm gonna skip. I'm gonna go ahead and assume. Actually, I don't know if that's where that goes. I don't think that's where that goes. I think it goes here. Yeah, yeah. Alright, yeah, yeah. Yep. Cool. Now, where do you do the chests, my guy? I think it's going to go down here. Yeah, let's go here. I think there's another chest that needs to go into this one. Yeah, yeah, I don't want to do that. I want to know where the powder chest goes. Chest filled up here and having these sort of two the hoppers is more than sufficient for even is a best place to to the hoppers. Okay, here we go. Is more than Last for even a very hopper. long AFK session. So as part of this, uh, you then want to also get some storage up the top. This here is yep. the best place okay. to place Perfect. a hopper and then a chest to feed into this. How many chests do I have? A plenty of chests. Powder, cool. So it will be restocked into your inventory. And then the other thing you can do, of course, is that if you wanted to and have a very long AFK session, you might want to just create a little tile setup here where you can uh, actually uh, go to that, uh, that. And then you can actually put more. There we go. We are done. And chests on top here, just like this. I need to make sure everything is like out of these hoppers because last time that's what I think clogged up everything. Front facing, you can also place it like this, so then you can come in here, access your concrete powder without having to sort of go around the back or anything like that. So a lot of flexibility in how to do that. One thing to remember, however, however many chests you put on top here, put that many chests down here as well. All right, I think this is it. I think we're done. So I don't need him blathering in my ear anymore. Um, we are gonna. Get rid of this stuff. Get rid of all this stuff. Stuff I don't need. We do need to get our concrete powder and fill up that chest up top. Oh my gosh, click faster, there we go. What's this? Oh, that's concrete. That's good, because I need some concrete anyway. Okay, so for this machine to work, concrete goes in up top. Concrete powder, that is goes in up top and you'll see it start it's starting to like flow down through the system so it's going and it's preloading so we should see we should see some yep so it's preloading in here awesome these droppers shouldn't have anything these hop these hoppers shouldn't have anything to be good we go here and we get all of our stone pickaxes yes except for the ones that are damaged, which we will actually use here in a second. Be careful not to lose my good stuff. Okay, so we've got concrete, concrete. Is this concrete powder? Yes. Let's put that in there. I'm going to need concrete powder in my hand, so concrete, concrete. Okay. I'm going to need something to fill up my inventory. Oh, I've got regular concrete that I can use. So when you use this machine, 
when you use this machine, your inventory has to be full. So we'll actually put all these um, stone pickaxes in here. Keep the one in our hand. We'll actually throw this one in the system too. But see how I have an empty inventory? If I have an empty inventory, when it's shooting the pickaxes at me, it's gonna, it's actually gonna fill up my inventory. So I have to have all the slots full. Oh, I have sticks I can use. Um, so what I'm gonna do, oops, does not escape out of the game. I'm going to put the concrete powder in my left hand, take some concrete powder, and keep like a full stack almost. So you're gonna keep concrete powder in your left hand. We're gonna keep the pickaxe in our right hand, but we do need to fill up our inventory. So we'll uh, just do that with sticks or whatever. Doesn't really matter. Just all the slots have to be full. Okay, so we should be, we should be ready to actually AFK concrete. So nothing in the output chest. The system is dumping concrete in right now. We should have pickaxes here. Yep. Do I have enough? I should have enough. That should be enough. Should we see? <laughs> Moment of truth. Here we go. Is it going to work? Bets? Yes? Yes or no? Did I build it right? Yes. Suave has all the confidence in the world. I like it. Yes. Yes, yes. All right. Moment of truth. All right. Boom. Yes. Boom. Yes. All right. So this is good. It's shooting pickaxes at me, which it needs to do. And the number I have in my hand, in my left hand, of the concrete powder, which is 62, isn't going down, which means I'm being reloaded one at a time. So system appears to be working, but there's one more check on whether or not this AFK concrete machine will actually work. As if I'm gonna clog up the system with pickaxes. I gotta check and see if pickaxes are going into the output. Son of a! This happened last time too. Oh, I know why. So what happened is uh, there were things in the system that kind of screwed it up, but that's okay. It shouldn't happen. This happened last time. Our concrete is going into there. It should be, the system should be clear now. So we've uh, cleared the system, put these guys back. We're good here. We'll do stickies, sticks, sticks, sticks. Everywhere, boom. Okay. I always wanna keep concrete here as well because sometimes like finished concrete in my inventory because what happens sometimes is the concrete like goes everywhere and it doesn't always go into the system. So if it flies like crazy and I've got it in my inventory, it'll just stack there in the inventory. And sometimes it actually like flings it. I'll find like a couple pieces like flung way out of the system. But for the most part, this thing is Pretty, pretty good. All right, one more check. Oh, see, I broke a pickaxe and I just automatically got a new one. That's good. What we want to see is no more pickaxes in that output chest. Because if that's the case, I'm going to run out of pickaxes. All right, that should be plenty of time to check. Come on, come on, money, money. Clean. All right, system is cleansed. We should be able to get concrete for days. After a while, I'll need to go make some more stone pickaxes, but I mean, this thing has, the, pickaxe, the pickaxes actually do last forever in here. So easy, check off one thing for the day. Concrete machine rebuilt. I thought it was gonna be a lot harder than it was. Yeah, and then this is just like an AFK thing. So right now, I'm just holding left and right. I could tape them down. 
Like, he goes through, like, ah, set up your keybinds, and now you can, like, put weights on your keyboard. It's like, dude, why? Just, if you're seriously gonna sit here and AFK this, why not just tape, get some tape? So I actually, <laughs> I actually have tape here in case I wanted, to, like, if I have an AFK fish farm eventually, which are super OP, by the way, um, if I wanted to AFK this, I could go get lunch, right? Nice, all right, so that is that done. Sick. What I do need to be careful is if I accidentally like hit that quartz block over there, it'll break the whole system. So I gotta like not, whoops. I should use like a stronger material over there. About to lose another pickaxe. That's like probably more than a stack per pickaxe. Oh, here's one of the one that was already weak. Yeah, I've seen some like really complicated concrete machines. Like there there are some that are like you build like obsidian walls and it has like a TNT dispenser in the middle and it blasts and and it goes into a pool of water but the thing it takes like it's like 30 by 30 and 30 high and you still have to be there so it's not like you can ever get away with it's not like you can ever get away with like just walking away there's no true AFK concrete machine you always have to place at least place the powder. Now if you use TNT to break it, or if you sit here and break it, like what's the difference? I have to place this anyway. So it's almost, it's probably just as fast. And it's a lot smaller. But this will allow us to basically make infinite concrete. So if we wanted to do different colors, so like on the library, I'm gonna do like big tall white structures and, and the windows will be like black concrete and then glass in between, it's gonna look sick. But I'm totally changing <laughs> my, my original plan. but I just wanted to get this back up and running. Now we can get started on the, on the library. editing that video last night. What video were you editing? Is that a YouTube video? The video of your uh, of your build? Till 3.30, that's insane. Dude, I was so tired last night. I stood up till one. Yeah, we gotta be uh, we gotta be careful about. It's nice. I really do like doing like a night stream because you guys probably saw if you were on my kind of evening stream because I did three streams yesterday, kind of three shorter ones. I had kind of the morning afternoon, then I did one in the evening. But you know, my kids are home and they're like wanting help with homework and they're wanting to you know watch shows and there's like you know, the TV super loud in the other room, so it's kind of really hard. So I just kind of got frustrated and I was like. I'll just do it when they go to bed. But then that makes it like 
10 o'clock to 1 to get a good decent stream in and I, I wanted to be I, I was working on um, so I was uh, suave as I was watching your stream for a little bit while I was working on some Photoshop stuff for the channel uh, which is when you were gonna raid me which I appreciate um, your the thought there um, so yeah, so I was working on Photoshop stuff, so I ended up being a little bit later, so I ended up only doing like 11 to 1. Yeah, see you, Eddie. No worries. What's prime time for viewers? Like late? Or like, like, mid, like night, like 7? What, what do you think is the best time for like an evening stream, like seven to 10. Cause it like kind of picked up. It kind of picks up in the in the evening, surprisingly. I was like, you, you saw like kind of at the end of your stream, it like picks up, right? Yeah, like eight to 12. Yeah, and then, you know, we have some followers in here that are like in Germany or in, uh, you know, or in Europe, like Denmark and others. And it's like, you know they're just they're just waking up then so it's like man actually that like one like that, the graveyard shift like one to like four in the morning wouldn't be a bad time either because you can i think you could pick up some some europe early morning viewers So what's that? That's just a couple minutes and we have stacks of concrete. I love it. This thing is the best. Oh, I was gonna put a, I'm gonna put a sign up on this if we ever use it. Credit to, credit to this guy on YouTube. All right, we've got concrete powder in our hand, which we don't need. Yeah, I think we should we should definitely plan to do it. I've never hosted a server. I've always just kind of played local. But I think it'd be fun if we could get a if we could get like three or four like small time streamers. I think one that's what I love about streaming is meeting new people, building building a community. So if you know if you know some other like streamers or even some other people that would be interested, I'd love to do just a vanilla just. Um, a server, like I said, I've never done it, and I, my skills are pretty pretty low. I, I, listen, I, we'll call it intermediate, right? I'm not a beginner beginner, but that'd be super fun. And there's like a cost, right? There's like a obviously, I mean, there's a cost. There's like a hosting cost. So I, I, when I was looking into it a little bit, it's like. It's like 30 bucks a month or something, right, to, to host it. That's the that's the tricky part. We gotta figure out figure out the cost. Alright, I am going to build this in. Because I hate how this looks. Uh, we're gonna make it out of concrete. Which makes sense. build here because of the trap doors so we have to be able to build like one out but we can let's see we can do this yeah so if you yeah if you're seriously interested in doing um 
if you're interested in doing a, a server, I'd, I'm, I'd totally be down. Yeah, I, I think, and that's the thing, if, if it helps build our communities and, um, you know, and it's something that, you know, again, I'd, I'm not necessarily into streaming for, for making money, but I mean, listen, I'm not going to turn any down. So if we can, if it's something that, yeah, can be self-sufficient, all the better, right? I mean... actually be able to get our stuff out. So we'll do like a little entry there. We build this whole concrete machine and then like lock it off so we can't, uh, can't get into there. Nice. Yeah, I mean, different mod packs and shader packs and stuff, like that's kind of beyond my comfort level. Um, I just think that the, the game, the game is so good in its vanilla form. I think there's a couple little things on a server that you'd want, like uh, only one person needs to sleep mod. I think that's actually pretty, uh, not important, but... Um, Um, but yeah, eventually, you know, we'll see how it goes. Eventually, if we want to do like Skyblock or whatever, we could certainly do that too. But actually, you know what? I'm gonna do. I'm gonna do some trap doors. I think right here. What the skyblock is? It you guys do like skyblock? Oh, the one person sleep. Yeah, I, that should be. That should just be like across the board. Like, come on. If you've got a server of like even four or five people, it's so annoying because someone's down in that mine or someone is off somewhere else. Dude, uh, that that should just be a standard thing. It's just so annoying. Hey, everyone, go to sleep. Oh, I found the found this line. Ah, yeet, yeet, dies the slime. Ah! Piss off, ghost. Did 
I'm getting like all sorts of like work stuff. Listen, these people and wanting me to do my job. Listen, it's getting old. We, doo -doo -doo -doo, if we, if we put this one here, it'll. Nope. <laughs> I think I'm gonna need to do this. Do. This. Not the door! It's in the system! Oh, sorry. Yeah, I've got, got distracted there. Yeah, um, yeah, my job is being tech dad. Yeah, no, my job is I'm the director of digital strategy for a university. So I oversee digital projects, web, social, other stuff for a uh, Pac-12 school. I got into Minecraft, I got into Minecraft you know, for my kids, right? And I was like, hey, what's this stupid, stupid Minecraft game? We'll play it, I guess. And I just have had so much fun with it. It's the best. It's just super, oof. It's super chill, right? It's super relaxing. It's something you can just play for hours. But yeah, I got into it for my kids. What? This looks good. Look at that, that's much cleaner. I don't know what I want to do for the floor. For now, we'll plan on this just being the giant white padded concrete room. <laughs> So with the insane asylum where we have to go and AFK. Yeah, I got into Minecraft just, uh, I don't even know, years ago and I played on Xbox just casually. And then one time I was like, oh, you can play it on the computer. <laughs> so so I initially got into it on console. And then um, and then I was like, uh, I guess, because I, I didn't really ever play games on the computer, on the PC. So um, started started you know pc gaming really f with minecraft so it hasn't been it hasn't been too long actually a couple years but I've, very casually i think i've probably played more on this world than on most others so uh my, my last world actually played quite a bit but Yeah, I mean, because I was playing console, you know, just whatever, from the you know, original, from the original Nintendo days, guys. Actually, growing up, so, uh, you know, I, I was like prime age for a Nintendo console. My parents would never let me have a video game console. I actually didn't have a video game console until I was married. So, um, after college and everything, I'd never... Oh, I take that back. The first, the first PC game I ever played was actually Civilization. I had a roommate in college, who where we would, we would get a LAN, a LAN party together to play. Was it Civilization? It was something like Civilization. 
but we would actually have to like, this was like before, I mean, laptops were a thing. I'm not that old, guys. But um, we actually had to like haul our like monitors and the and the towers and stuff and like connect the towers together to have like a LAN party. It was a total pain in the butt to do. But uh, yeah, so that's the first game I really played. Um, and that was before getting a console. When I got married, I told my wife, I was like, I could never have video games growing up. I just want, I just want to get an Xbox and I promise I won't play a ton. And I really don't play on console very much. Um, but yeah, that was the first console I had. It was like the original Xbox. But yeah, growing up, I would like go to friends' houses and play Nintendo, Super Nintendo. And I was always so jealous because my stepdad is like a super health freak, like, and which was good, you know, growing up, um, you know, we were always outdoors, hiking and stuff. And, uh, and I just would beg, I would beg to have like, I just want a Nintendo. All my friends have one. I totally want one. I didn't see Seal, um, but Seal could be here just not chatting. Um, so this is what my stepdad told me when I at, would beg for a console. He's like, I will get you one when it's powered by an exercise bike. That was his whole thing. It had to be powered by an exercise bike and he'd get me one. So needless to say, I never had one growing up. But when I got married and started spending my own money, I was like, I'm all about this. I'm gonna get me a console. And yeah, we got one. Oh, I remember how I convinced my wife because she doesn't like video games. I was like, we need a we need a Blu-ray player or we need a DVD player. And I was like, it's the same price as a DVD player. So we might as well just get an Xbox because why not? It's the same price, which it's not, that's just a lie. But anyway, that's how, that's the story of how I finally got, oops, got a gaming console. <laughs> and the rest is history. stuff being like right on my head. There we go, there we go. This room is looking clean. Just come on in here, boom, do our thing. Get the peaceful sound of water. Oh, I need to put that door back. This door really isn't necessary because like, so there's not much danger in this room. But, might as well. Looks nice. Or whatever. No, no preferences. It's listen as a so part of my job. So technically, I'm I'm in the marketing department at a university, and my degree is in marketing. Uh, and um, it's it's got to have a creative name, right? So whatever it is, it just has to be creative. I'm kind of kind of picky about that kind of stuff. <laughs> Streamcraft, Streamcraft. Listen, that, that's there are no bad suggestions. That's a good suggestion. Streamcraft. Come up with something. We got to come up with like a. Got to come up with like a guild or something. We got to come up with like a, a 
or something. Like I like dadcraft, but you're not a dad, right? So, uh, and there's another there's another like popular um, streamer group that's that's on a dadcraft server. Uh, I'll have to think about it. We'll have to think about it. Suggestions suggestions are welcome. We got to get some people in here and do like a poll or something. <laughs> was that was that subtle? <laughs> organization zone here and I'm yeah I was surprised that my VOD got a, bu a bunch of the VOD got muted yesterday uh, you hope you're not a dad <laughs> hey listen you may not know you never know I mean We'll come up with something. We'll, we'll think of something good. I'll, I'll think on it. The solution will present itself. Do I have spruce signs? I do. Okay, good. I'm gonna use the spruce sign instead of an oak sign. Oh, I've got more. Cobble. Cobble garbage. I need a water to get that thing. One of the things we got to do, I think, later tonight, I think tonight's stream, well, I've got to work on the library, so I might focus on that, but I want to fill out this map, and eventually I want to build, like, a wither killing chamber. Ah, <laughs> we still, I can't believe, I can't believe we still don't have looting. Thanks for stopping in, man. I'll be off. I'll be off uh, in about an hour, and then I'll be on later this evening. So it's kind of a short morning stream. Organization may take time, but it's worth it. Oh, I keep noticing things in my inventory that I shouldn't be carrying around. Don't need to be carrying around bones. We're looking to start like a, a server, a vanilla Minecraft server. So that's kind of what we're thinking of names for. Oop, ran right past it, wasn't paying attention. Oh, I forgot I had all this stuff sitting here. Something's gonna spawn over here in this corner. I like this stuff up here. Some doors here too. Close this off. Hey, that was cool. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Vanilla, vanilla is just just meaning like the base game. So Java, so Java Minecraft is like PC Minecraft, but there's all sorts of mods you can put on it, right? So you could do like Skyblock is a mod, or um, there are different like 
skin uh, skin packs and stuff that you can do. So vanilla just means just the base core game as is. I mean, you can put shaders on and stuff. Not, I mean, not on my computer, but um, vanilla just means like not modded. The only mod we would do would be like a, a sleeping mod. So just basic stuff. We're not doing anything crazy. Just game in its purest, purest form. Yeah, 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 it's Java. Yeah, because there's Java and Bedrock, right? So Bedrock, Bedrock is console, what they're doing for console across the board. And then Java is PC. And then Vanilla is the clean version of Java. I mean, I guess technically Bedrock is Vanilla too, right? Because it's not modded. But if you go and do any of like the games and stuff in Realms, that's all like modded Minecraft. At least that's how I understand. I could be wrong, but listen, I'm a dad. I'm not wrong. I'm not allowed to be wrong. Let's see. I'm just gotta figure out where I'm putting all this stuff. All right, this goes over here. Yeah, eventually down the road, I am gonna do one of these like dump my stuff in a in a box, all of my stuff in a box, and it'll just go sort itself, but that's such a huge undertaking. So for now, we just take the time and organize our stuff. They have Bedrock on PC? I did not know that. Stone pickaxe I need to put back. And then these lanterns go in the iron. All right, that should be me cleaned out. Oh good, I do have more. I'm gonna take this. I'm gonna take this with us. Put the bed back, put the sign up, put the pick back. and hop off where I need. I could also make a door. Ooh, that's what I'll do. I'll make a door on this side too. Okay, I need to put... Where'd that pick go? There it is. This is pretty convenient. I like... I kind of like having this. And if I need to get into the... If I need to get into that chest, I can do it through here. Nice. Cleaned up. Some more there. What am I doing? Oh, I'm putting up a sign. I gotta put up a sign. Proper respect for the designer of this. Except I forgot what his name was. Not now, sir. Mad Dog 142 on YouTube. <laughs> Here's the, in case anyone cares, there's the video that I uh, watched to make this concrete machine. What is this guy? Mad Dog 142 on YouTube. Yeah, uh, I don't. Yeah, it's you know you saw it's not not too hard to build. I mean, uh, that should be on the VOD too, so you can watch my build or you can watch his build. Either one. 
credit. There it is. Yeah, if you use concrete, I definitely suggest having some sort of like concrete machine. Actually, let's punch through this wall and see what happens. all the way down to the end. Nice. Nice, nice. Narrator narrates all. Ah, narrator narrates all? What was that? Oh, <laughs> my... I'm gonna take a. I guess gotta go to the bathroom real fast. But the uh, my hotkey for my transition turned on the narration. Narrator narrates chat. Narrator narrates system. <laughs> what? I don't want the narrator to narrate anything. Narrator off. All right, there we go. I'm gonna have to change my hotkey. All right, I'll be right back in just a second. Can't hide. They're following you. Your cravings for nacho fries will never stop. The warm nacho cheese sauce and savory Mexican spices will not let you get away. So there's only one thing left to do. Run to Taco Bell because nacho fries are back. Head to Taco Bell and silence your cravings. All right, <laughs> now we have to listen to Spotify ads. So things I need to do. I need to make sure I have Spotify premium loaded so we don't have to listen to Spotify ads and I need to fix my uh, screen overlay hotkeys oh no I keep doing that wrong one there we go that should turn the stream back on what I need is a stream deck that's the next step next step stream deck there we go there we go, and we're back. That working now? Good. There's like a delay on the on the one. That's fresher than fresh. Then shop at Smiths. We give you more ways to save on the fresh you love with tools like the Smiths app, where you can find Nice. Oh man, I can't believe how well that concrete machine build went. Smiths, fresh for everyone. Sign up for the Kroger RX. I gotta figure out how to like mute the. Yeah, I just need to get a stream deck. By good RX. What you trying? <laughs> you figured it out? Well, I can. Happy to help uh, if, if we can. Oh, I should have taken the train back here. Son of a. Okay, 
So on our project list for the day, we had uh, build the concrete machines. So check, that is a done. I mean, we could certainly clean up this room a little bit if we wanted, but. And then we can get working on the library. Which is gonna be a big project, so am I avoiding it? A little bit. How did PE class go? They didn't kill my villagers. Alright, they sound like they're doing okay. shears in a little bit, but we can just buy them from, the, from our villager friend. You doing okay? Yep, you're okay. You're doing okay. Our guy in there should be fine. Oh, we've got two dudes in here. Alright, these guys are... Oh my gosh, my day tomorrow. I was hoping to be able to stream tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to be able to. Ow, what? You set me on fire. Unless you live. Today you live. One, two, three. One, two, three.
all this beautiful work. Gone. You know what I need is bamboo. I need to do some scaffolding. Wondering what this is gonna be, my guy? Me too, me too. Six, seven, nine high, I think. Um, I have a Discord, but I have I don't have it set up for stream. Oh yeah, have you? Uh, did you not see the uh, auto sheet from Seal? Nice, glad you're here. Yeah, I do some automation. I well, listen, I I I, I shouldn't say I don't. There isn't automation I wouldn't be interested in. I don't want to like, there's, I don't want to be duping anything, right? So I'm not going to be duping anything, but, but yeah, so I've got um, my auto sheep farm because this is like within the game's mechanics, right? I don't want to like hack the game in order to create automation, but, but yeah, so we've got, uh, we've got a good chest going on here. And actually I should double check. Oof. All right, so we're starting to fill. So we filled this top one already, so it's full. And then any spillover is gonna come and start filling from the bottom. And then once those are full, I don't know what we do. For now, I just gotta get out of this hole. I mean, I've already got chests and stuff. Uh, I'd have to, I guess I'll have to turn off the, I'll just take the shears out and just leave the sheep trapped until I need. <laughs> Meh. the time. Gotta watch the time. Can't be late again. Ultimate dad builds. Measure twice, cut once. There's my dad vice for you guys. Boink, boink, whoops. I 
one more block up. Yep, you you knew it. You knew it. You had me. You had me. This is just like playing video games with your dad. You look at him and you're like, what are you even doing? You're the biggest idiot. Go one more block up. And he doesn't listen. And <gasps> mom's home. Huh, did you see mom? She home, huh? Mom crafty, yeah, it's about to get all mom crafty in here. That will never happen. I'll never say never, right? But... I see the violence in your eyes and the silent fighting. I see the lies in their mind and you can't decide because they only blind them. Go away and go from the vagas. Follow my advice because they're going to be... Oh, I got to go get to bed. You. They're going to kill if you let them through. Yeah, this is gonna be the library. Yeah, I'm redoing. I just redoing that design. I looked at a, a couple designs, and I decided I want to do a whole like modern aesthetic for the whole village. So I'll start with the library, and then I'll go actually rebuild all the all the villager houses and give them like cool modern glass and concrete houses to live in. Basically, like a bunch of fish bowls. <laughs> we can just like. Look at them through. I kind of want to clean up the the landscaping so it's all a little bit more uniform. Yeah, I'll clean all this out so it'll be a big like courtyard, maybe with a fountain or something. That'd be kind of a cool entry. Yeah. I'm gonna do some terraforming. I'll bring, I'll, I'll really kind of like bring, because there's all sorts of like levels, which is interesting, but um, yeah, we'll, we'll change everything. This guy over here is really interested in what I'm doing. there's still going to be another row of concrete in here, black concrete. I'll change all this stuff. You know what? I think I'm going to have to make this. 
this deeper. So we're gonna take out this stuff. None of the supplies anymore. Wise words are definitely do it. I love this desk. And then you can sit if you want. All right, that's the front elevation done. It's gonna be pretty cool looking. I would, I would definitely. Yeah, because just with a push of a button, I can lower it and, and have a seat. Nice and easy. Um, guys, I'm gonna go eat lunch, and then I've got my meeting at one o'clock, okay? And then um, we'll see after that.